Johan Engström, even more edgy against Gary Anderson. A game that didn't really live up to the billing. Oh, it's a ball. Dimitri just had a little too much at the end, but he's really not got out of second gear throughout the event, Dimitri Vandenberg. Six. Nine one eight tees from the Belgium in that win over Anderson. Oh, and you see. 21 darts, missed the doubles as well from Dimitri. Well, the atmosphere won't bother Fallon Sherrett one bit. She's, one she's played in a few darting cauldrons, hasn't she? Since she shot to fame in that historic World Championship. One hundred. Neither will it bother this man. Become a very experienced player, Dimitri Vandenberg. A world match play champion and a great defence of the title. But he's just got to be patient in this match. Not be frustrated early on. 138. A really impressive opening leg. 72 after 12. Taking it all in her stride so far. 134. Only requires 72. The switch from Van den Berg, but looks like his race may be running this leg. Or will he get a chance? He does get a chance at the 107. Outside chance, but. Been a good leg for Dimitri as well. It's a good start from both. This is where he had all his joy. Double 16 oh, was the majority of his joy. Not on this Only occasion. Well done. Opening leg on throw. Should enjoy it up there for sure. Dimitri just got a shot out. The commotion and the noise is no doubt that the crowd will be on the side of Fallon Sherrick, the underdog. 180 number one. 90. Fallon has the range. Well, started okay. Paramount, you hold your throw when you go up there first leg. And that's ticked off. Vandenberg coming back here and. Vandenberg has settled quicker than any I know we're only a leg and a half in but it was really edgy stuff in both his matches Stu wasn't it and then let's dig out of the blocks quicker here Ooh, brilliant leg how about that possible 10 data coming in for Vandenberg It's the back end, though, that caused them all the issues. Double eight. Got time. But he'd like to get this done. Yeah, that's a good dart. Just because what's gone on before, missing so many doubles, pinning that double with his second dart. And Vandenberg levels up the match. One leg apiece. 41. Awesome. Decent switch. And it breaks after 5, 10 and 15 legs in the race to 11. Michael Van Gerwen, Johnny Clayton coming up next. And the final to complete what has been a great event and there's still twists and turns left. 99. The concern in Fallon, not so much her form, but the form of Dimitri Vandenberg. He's settled, Stu, hasn't he? And 
repeating myself, but he, he's looked edgy. He admitted nerves in the Four first round. Couldn't get rid of Gary Anderson in the quarterfinals. Needs to make better starts in games. And started well here, but it's got hammer home the advantage. 90. On your 132. Well, he's left 71 after 12. Yeah, disappointing first dart for Fallon. Ninety-two. Good recovery. To Lee tops. Vandenberg though looking at treble thirteen. And double sixteen. Thirty-nine. Ah, right. now then. And you require forty. An awkward. No, oh, can't afford to miss those opportunities. They were close. Not close enough. Vandenberg gets more opportunities, but got to be more clinical on the outer ring. Double eight. He did win his only leg so far on this double. Up for double four and yeah. sneaks it in the top uh, corner. To See the fist there. The relief well, for Vandenberg. And the first break of throw comes the way of the Belgian. Well, Fallon had her chances, didn't she? Three of them. Dimitri back in the red bit. With another one. Growing in confidence, growing in belief. Dimitri Vandenberg. Looking the most relaxed we've seen him throughout the event. And his first big break was a World Series final the German Master 2018 looking to make his second Masters final early days but has a break has a healthy lead in this leg 43 86. 93. To be here in 150. We certainly focus Vandenberg. Well, his average is around 104 mark. Holding himself time and and see how he felt that last start was important. Clench fist again to lead 50. He's winning legs, 11 oh, darts, 18 darts. Oh, got time here to consolidate the break. But has to hammer home the advantage when he gets it. He got in front against Gary Anderson on numerous occasions, but couldn't pull away. Yeah. At the same time, that was testament to Gary Anderson. He dug in deep. But this is a key leg already. Fallon goes down 4 1 with two breaks. It's a big task straight away. 60. Yeah, there's three darts in leg three to go ahead. 2 1. Could turn out to be more costly than just one leg lost. 60. We shall see. Big time coming up for the women's game with 12 events over two weekends in the UK. Seven, two four. spots on offer for the World Championship. Two spots also on offer for the Grand Slam of Darts. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Fallon and Lisa Ashton will be clear favourites from the start, but it's a good opportunity. I know. Welsh Open is sandwiched in there, but for ladies' darts, if you're thinking of taking it seriously, you've got to get yourself to these events. A massive opportunity provided by the PDC, and this year it's even better. Not all crammed into one weekend, spread over a three-weekend series. 
and the rewards are massive. Grand Slam spots, World Championship spots. It's a minimum payday of over £10,000. Winning a game, so... She needs the ball. This will hurt now if Dimitri Vandenberg pings the 1 2 7. Seen Johnny Clayton get rid of this earlier on today. Treble 19. So no shot. Looks like. 3 2 at the first break. Still work to be done on the 25 here. Gotta go. Well, again, they were close, but not close enough, and that really has been the story of the opening session of this semi-final. Wasted darts by Fallon Sherrick. And Dimitri van der Berg makes her pay, and how Fallon won the first leg. She has missed eight darts at double, and she has paid the price. Could have been ahead, Mark Webster. Uh, but Dimitri Vandenberg has got the blinkers on, hasn't he? And he's just doing what he has to do. 4-1 up with two breaks of throw. Well, it's, it's, it's the best passenger play Dimitri Vandenberg's had in the event. It was a struggle this afternoon. And he struggled at times against Engstrom, but he's got up the blocks here. His average around 99 and a half, but crucially, oh, he has that double break. And he still missed a few darts at a double, but he seems a lot more confident that was the Achilles heel and that, that's a key start there he's starting the legs well his oh, first nine average 110 it gets your control puts pressure on the opponent and I'm... Fallon has caved in that pressure had chances not out of it yet but feel needs to claw one of these breaks back and sooner rather than later we saw what happened earlier when Johnny Clayton just ran away with his match to keep on the coattails of your opponent. One hundred and forty. In the main, Vandenberg scoring has been top heavy, hasn't it? One hundred and thirty-eight. On your 167. Now, just in case Vandenberg misses. 68. Double four. 60. Right. On your Uruguayan 67. Found up to get back into this game. Has to find a double here. Two darts at it. Well, she's created so many chances in the first half a dozen legs. Yeah, it's not the ones of opportunities, but they keep passing her by. And Dimitri is hardly clinical on the doubles, but you know, gets there in the end. Leads 5 1 now. Good opportunity for Fallon to get a break back. But unfortunately, it's 5 1. And these are massive moments now. Another break. And Dimitri is one of those players that could just run away with this match. It's one of those situations where you can see the confidence just evaporate. Especially when your opponent steps up and does that. Third one, eight, two, four, Vandenberg, but three legs, Fallon really should have won. He cannot afford to miss yeah, ten you know. bounce of doubles this early in a tie. Dimitri Vandenberg. I say that was Mr. Levin. But he's getting away with it. His scoring powers afforded him time and it's applied pressure. One hundred and forty. 
And it's looking like yet another breaker throw, and it would be six consecutive legs. We've seen that from Johnny oh. Clayton when he trailed Peter right by leg to nil and had that purple patch and took control of the time. We're seeing something similar here. Oh. Yeah, that's OK, 81 after nine against the darts. There's going to be six consecutive legs here for... Dimitri van der Berg, well, number five. Time, but this is 11 dart leg. Good leg. His second 11 darter of the match, Dimitri Vandenberg. Another break, a 6 1 lead, and five legs away from the Nordic Darts Masters final. Dimitri Vandenberg. There we see, he's got so many levels. A miss all those darts at doubles and still have a 100 average, a testament to his power scoring. Yeah, just not happening for Fallon Sherrick here, but fair play to to Dimitri for just keeping his head really. Yeah, maybe you know, all the players in the semis, Fallon aside, have all gone through a, a grueling, well, a quarter final this afternoon and wasn't really yeah, pushed not. in a first round tie. Gets the bye because of Gerwin Price injury. Um, not really had a challenge, and this has been a big challenge because Dimitri Vandenberg has saved his best form for the semi final. Yeah, too many missed opportunities, and you you kind of felt right at the start that if Fallon was going to push Dimitri van der Berg, then she had to take the chances. As Dimitri, after 171 to 3 180s and a 165, had to stay in touch. And that fifth leg is the one that changed the game. Vandenberg secured the double break, and he's got six darts. Now we can just lay up this 140. This will be... 92. Well, odd decision. Yeah, I don't understand that, but he has done it in a, yeah, a, a, a youth it. event before. Yeah, I remember, but it's just... Leave yourself three at a double. Go, but yeah, but 100 to leave three, three darts in the hand. It'll be costly. Oh, as yeah. well, wins the leg. It's the way he likes to go and... That's fair play, but it still seemed a strange decision. I've seen him in a youth event um, once, had 40 left with three dads in hand, they went eight for double 16. And it paid off then. Alan fires in her first maximum stat, trying to stop the rot. Seven without reply. Dimitri Vandenberg trailed 1 0, but now Lee's 7 1 and switched on a board. But 91. Vandenberg. Closing in on the final. One hundred. I'm sure Fallon will hope to get a, another crack at the World Series in 2022. Originally, down to compete in all the events around the world last year but of course because of the pandemic couldn't two 180s in this leg just giving us all a reminder of how good Baron Sherrick is oh, he should surely stop the rot here a couple of 11 darts with Dimitri Vandenberg potential Alan to go out in 11 darts here and there's good leg but work still to do Dimitri Vandenberg won't be too ruffled by that, he's got the darts. We have a break after this leg. Vandenberg looking to hole throw. 
put himself 8-2 in front and making the best possible start. Just a little chance here now for Fallon. Got to be two trebles, you feel. Can't Sick. flick off. Got some good markers and Vandenberg. Deep breath, eh? Just wants to get this done. And when you're playing three games in a day, potentially what well, the you can, can do, if you can get rid of one quickly, even better in the semi-final. Excel fresh for the final. We saw Johnny Clayton and Michael Van Gerwen come through routine victories this afternoon. We expect that tie to be a lot closer than this one. It's not over yet, but Dimitri Vandenberg in a real commanding position. Six. You say Fallon and Lisa Rashton will be favourite when it comes to the big games for the PDC Women's Tour. Dieter Hedman as well, Anastasia Dobromislova, Kareen Hammond, just to name but a few. Um, I'm not sure what if Makura Suzuki's getting over, but it'd be not great sure if she are. could. Yeah, so ready for confirmation, aren't we, as to whether Kuri hey, Suzuki will be able to, to meet you get over easy. from Japan to play in those big events. Okay, 8-2, it is 8-2, yeah, Dimitri Vandenberg, Dimitri. like a lost cause for Fallon, but hold a throw on a quick break, might plant some seeds of doubt, but Dimitri well, is hey. playing too well. Number three, three apiece now in the match. Tell you what, though, Fallon again showing Six why she is one of the very best in women's darts and is constantly a threat when it comes to these tournaments oh. as well. And it would be a major surprise if we don't see her back at the Ali Pali. But all the pressure would be on her and Lisa Rashford because they're expected to succeed and it's a different sort of pressure than I guess the one that she faces playing in front of a huge crowd here in Copenhagen. Yeah, and you feel the next step is to get a tour card and Lisa Rashford's done that and she's made good progress on the yeah. tour. And that would be the next step for Fallon and you know, that should be the motivation for women go into these qualifiers, it can open up doors. 120. They needed some investment in the women's game for a while now, they've got it. Got to support the event. Six. Yeah, there's tournaments in Copenhagen already on the calendar for next year. Good opportunity here to Fallon Sherrick. After 180 starts, stuttered to the finish, but yeah. it's a good finish, 106. Yeah. Only a holder throw, breaks needed. Dimitri Vandenberg. We're just and keen to get this done. The doubles, the missing piece of Fallon's jigsaw well, in Copenhagen it. tonight, but. One of the most impressive parts for me for Dimitri Vandenberg, and it has been to be fair throughout the event, but his setup play from 46. I don't know, sort of 200, 250 out has been exceptional. And has put the pressure, and it did on a numerous, a, a numerous occasions against Anderson in the quarter. 
Yeah, Dimitri van den Berg is starting to add that extra gears in terms of when you're not playing well, finding a way to win. He did that against Gary Anderson, did it against Engstrom, and that's what the top players do. We mentioned Gary Anderson get to a world final without really playing his best dart. He admitted that himself, and that's what the top players do, finding a way to win progress through events when they're not at their best and Dimitri hasn't been his best he's looked pretty good here tonight though still knows there's room for improvement but he's just playing a sensible game now he's got those breaks he's holding his throw he won't be worried if Fallon holds her throw and calls a leg back because he's in complete control he's got three breaks and he only needs three more legs Seventy-one. Yeah, five words you used before, which encapsulate Dimitri van der Berg now. He certainly is in that category. What the top players do, and he is a top player. He certainly is. He's got levels. He can play so much better than this, but he can still have high averages with you know, a relatively modest double percentage he tightens that up there's more majors to come for sure for Dimitri Vandenberg <laughs> those first nine darts really telling the story Six. heavier scoring a lovely camera shot that isn't it you get a real flavor of of the darts going through the air into the board I just got a glimpse of the doubles percentage and that's what's caused all the problems for Fallon Holding a throw that needs breaks, needs plenty of them. Dimitri van den Berg bought himself time. Sixty. Only one hundred and sixty-seven. Ninety-seven. Leave seventy. So should. Get the fourth leg on the board, but it's Vandenberg, like I said, who has the advantage of throw. His advantage, his average this afternoon was around about the 88 mark. He's upped it tonight, and the performance has showed it. But one more leg back. Richie Vandenberg, who held, held comfortably, really, the last couple of legs. We'll look to do the same here. Two holes to throw, two legs away from the final. 180! Four now for Dimitri. One look forty. Find the second one, the Vandenberg. You mentioned it, our first nine average, he's getting out the blocks, taking control of the leg. 1 8 1. Time with it. And it's oh, two left after nine. It's convincing stuff from Dimitri Vandenberg. Edging ever closer to another World Series final. But he's not done and dusted in his leg yet. A bit of pressure on the 82 now. Let's see of that. Fourth maximum for Fallon. Eight for the match. Well, the 180 has put pressure on Dimitri van der Berg. And that was a mess from van der Berg. We saw that earlier on. Deviating from big targets, but 56. gets away with it. Tops to go one away. It was a double. He 
did his best to avoid earlier on in the match. Is that because he's not comfortable on it or? Well, that would indicate he's not. These are edgy darts. Very so edgy darts, they were nowhere near. Nails it. She'll be thinking, if only, if it's only I could have found darts first. like this earlier yeah. in the game. She has, well, three out of the last four, four out of the last six. And that's Can she of, get another leg back just before the final break? 43. One of the breaks back. I always say, keep your opponent two away, and you've got a little bit of room for error. Dimitri Vandenberg just never looked likely on those doubles. He was nowhere near tops. He was nowhere near the tens as well. And just inviting a bit of pressure here, unnecessary pressure. That play to Fallon. Six. I'll have to switch. Two treble nine teams yeah, left yeah. to finish, but big leg this one. Eighty one. Good last one. Not left to finish. However, what can Van de Berg do? These are the shots that we we're talking about before the setup shots. Not so good on this occasion. Finish. Doesn't even finish, so twelve out to piece and no finish, but Alan can set up. And to fly it. Hey, work to do. Dimitri Vandenberg and put pressure on that 92. It's awkward. 92 finish. May only get a dart at the ball. Edgy moments coming up. That's the risk. He do use a 25. Well, Ballard is right back in this for a place in the final. Yeah, not done and dusted yet. Led at the middle break, 8-2, now 9-6. Still got a couple of breaks, but drops his throw here. And he will start to think about it, because he has been edgy. And his average has come in now, it's below 95. 81. He relieved with that treble there. And only a visit of 81 for Dimitri's getting edgy. He is. Whereas Fallon Sherrick growing in confidence. And all of a sudden, that pressure is on the shoulders of Vandenberg. Oh, Just one treble visit from Dimitri Vandenberg at the minute, and seems to be crawling towards the finishing line. That one just keeps Fallon's nose ahead in this leg. from convincing is he Stewie's no. he seems like he's been rattled a bit here Dimitri Vandenberg Six. missed a trick there I feel he's getting away with one here he's still not convinced that he's going to clinch the leg from here P probably going to have six, six. yeah that's 
It's not good enough. It's not enough. Yeah, that's difficult. Oh, what a good dart that is. Well, she's given herself a chance here. Pressure very much on Vandenberg. 14 for the ball or a treble. Bullseye. Big dart. Yeah, never thought it was going to go, and well, then you're going this is getting very interesting. Oh, what a chance is that the moment. Two darts for 9-7. Yeah, and when Dimitri Vandenberg's throwing 18 darts, you've got to break his throw. This has been an issue for him, but not on this occasion. You see the relief. A 20 dart holder throw for Vandenberg. He's won away, but he is stuttering, Stu. But you feel that may be the moment. As good as the clinch here. Yeah. yeah that would have been 9 7. Darts to make it 9 8. But again, more ifs and buts and cuts and shoves. The score is 10 8, and Dimitri Vandenberg won away from the final of the Nordic Darts Masters. Got to keep going. Big ask. Five legs needed. Comeback's got to start somewhere, but Vandenberg's just got to keep himself together. Should have too much here, but. He is stuttering. It's five one eight twos from Farron Sherrick to four now for Dimitri Vandenberg. Eighty-five. Chris Mason in the studio made the point of around a ninety average from Dim. He would give Fallon a chance, and he's probably Eight been around that average six. for the last few legs, and that's where Fallon's had a joy. But he's just got to get himself over the line. 88, Dimitri Another really good leg here from from Sherrick. Dimitri needs to treble 19. So Farrell will be back. 87. Well, require eight. You always say, make, your, op it. make your opponent throw out for the match. Don't gift wrap it with a break. This could be the last start. It may Six. well be. The story of missed doubles, but Vandenberg to get the job done and take his place in the final. 13 missed starts at double for Sherrick. But more chances coming. Dimitri Vandenberg is getting edgy. we go, three back darts have come and gone, 10-7 it is. It's two visits now when he's had three at tops and he's never looked likely. And to be fair, could be and maybe should be a lot closer, but it's just done enough, Dimitri Vandenberg. The early part of the game is where he's done his damage. Last nine legs, six of them won by Fallon Sherrick. But as you say, seven consecutive legs, the start of the game from Dimitri Vandenberg have proved all important. 58. And he's pulling away here, Vandenberg. And this is just what he needed a comfortable leg because he hasn't been dealing with the pressure at the back end very well, but looking like he's going to have too much. Four. She's given it a real go, though, in the semi-finals here. Giving everybody another look at how good she is. 
reminders if anybody needed reminding. But yeah, Dimitri has probably done enough. Just about. Yeah. Well, you say that, Stu. Who's 89? Vandenberg. He's maybe thinking he pulled away in this leg. Treble 17. And that visit from Dimitri is all about pressure. Look at this from Fallon. Ah! What 80? 89 now. All of a sudden, it's 10 8. And Fallon has the darts. He was so far ahead in that leg. Five brilliant darts from Fallon Sherrick. He's had match darts, and you get the feeling Dimitri Vandenberg is thinking too much about those match starts. He's going to have to go and win it. It's not going to be given to him. He's really lost the range on that treble 20. Six. Look at that last one. That is pressure. He loses this leg. Alan breaks again. Should then have the darts in the deciding leg. This has got real messy for Dimitri Vandenberg. Oh, well, there's no doubt Dimitri's got the jitters. Can he just recompose himself? You get the impression he's just hoping for things to happen at the minute rather than enforcing them. Work with that guide now, and there we see. Yeah, good last one. We want to get it done here. Ah, uh, not quite. Vandenberg start to relax. Six. Yeah, not just yet. No, certainly not. And he won't want to hear the cheers of the crowd because he knows oh, that's a big trouble and that's another one. And well, this the second half of the game has been exceptional from Fallon Sherrick in anyone's books. Ninety-nine. No, we're reaching a crescendo in Copenhagen. Yeah, the clenched fist of Dimitri is a relief one. He's shaking it, nodding his head in the background. Oh, and 86 remaining, but... 86. You wouldn't bank on this going. Even if he found the treble 18. He's going to get one of the ball. It's double seven to finally finish this tie. Fourth seven, match start, come and gone. For Dimitri Vandenberg, he can't finish the job. Oh! And Fallon has got it back to within one. How about this? Dimitri Vandenberg led 7 1 and 8 2, and it's now 10 9, and the pressure piled on the Belgian. Can't find a treble here. He's buckling. Fallon's had a couple of dodgy shots in the last few legs, but Dimitri Vandenberg just not hammering home the advantage. Oh, feels like a field better, Mark. Wow. If Fallon can come back with one of her own. Oh, and she just left herself a little bit too much to do. This is the key, Stu. This is where he's got to hammer home that advantage. Back the 140 up. Switching down the board sensibly. But again, just don't offer Fallon away back into the leg. 170. See Dimitri's partner looking on. She'll be nervy. 
Still got a bit to do. A visit without a treble here. Oh, but credit Dimitri Vandenberg. Just got to finish the job, but he looked like he was running out of steam, Stu, but he's found something. Found and he get leaves a seventh maximum. Not going to happen. But a 140 would leave a finish. And Dimitri Vandenberg, who had 86 in the previous leg. He was under pressure. He's got a bit of time here. He'd like to get it done in this visit. Four match darts, remember already. Yeah, and that's the luxury he's been afforded, and more. And now leaving double two. You're going to miss that double four when your opponent's on 201. Miss it outside. A professional miss, as they call it. Vandenberg won't be feeling too comfortable going for this now. The heart will be pumping, the adrenaline will be flowing. Pressure telling. Eight match starts now. Ballard's going to get one. To level it up. Oh, unbelievable dart from Ballard Sherrick. What a finish. What a performance. Who would have believed this? Ten apiece. And Ballard is throwing for a place in the final. Vandenberg has collapsed. He's buckled. An unbelievably Fallon start to the match. And what must Dimitri Vandenberg be thinking? A complete collapse. Well, are we about to witness some more darting history? One of the most incredible, incredible games. Of this year, without a shadow of a doubt, it's got to be a maximum for Vandenberg. Six. Only sixty. Sixty-five. This looks to be done. Dimitri Vandenberg, he's had the chances. You lead 8 2 with three breaks of throw. You should close out the match. Sick. Well, we're shaking our heads in disbelief, but also in admiration of what we're seeing here from Fallon Sherrick. Eight match starts for Dimitri van der Berg. He led 7 1. He Six. led 8 2. 10 6.